Gucci gang, welcome back. I hope you're having an amazing and blessed day. I am grateful for waking up, for having another day, a brand new start, another chance to improve myself, to be better than who I was yesterday. You know, so I'm grateful with God for that and for giving me strength to keep going. Anyways, today's video will be over my college experience so far. So I am a sophomore in college now. This is my second year. I think I'll be in school for this year and maybe one more semester. I mean, I don't know. Just because I am majoring in science, I am going to school for dental hygiene and I just love science, period. I also want to minor in psychology just because I feel like that'll be a good backup plan for me because I love psychology. Maybe I'll be a counselor or I'll be a therapist and I feel like those would be great jobs for me. So school's been good so far, like this semester, I'm, oh, I'm doing the thing, man. Ah. Um, this semester has been great, honestly. Uh, my lowest grade so far is a 90. I'm trying to keep it 90s and ups, all A's this semester. But, you know, let me let me take y'all back. <laughs> Last semester was a tough one just because I was this close to dropping out. This close. Um, and I know you're probably shocked, like, wow, Rochelle, really? I expect more of you. Yeah, really. You know, I'm not perfect and I was, I've been going through so much. I've been going through some dark times in my life and I was like, man, like I don't want to go to school anymore. And so like I was going to drop out, right? So I stopped going to school for a while. Um, didn't do so well in my classes and you know, and it affected me in some ways because it set me back a little bit, but you know, it's college. Either you pass, fail, you learn your lesson learn from it, get back up and keep pushing. And so that's what I did, you know. I didn't drop out, my GPA got lower, but this semester I'm kicking butt and I'm working my A off. Um, and so far I'm proud of myself because I lifted myself up and I didn't let that stop me or bring me um, down. And I just wanted to let you know, like if you fail a class or something, don't feel down, like get back up and keep pushing, do better. You know, learn from your mistakes, don't just Oh, I failed this class, I'm done. Like, no, learn, take it again and learn from your mistakes and just improve, you know? First, that was my first year in college. First semester, I did better than my second semester, which is weird because I didn't know what to expect the first semester, but I did better than the second semester. But, you know, still, like, I didn't know what to expect. And now I know the feeling on college. I understand it more and I'm wiser and... You know, I'm getting stronger little by little. I stopped procrastinating this semester. I'm doing so well so far. I'm way ahead of schedule. This semester I'm taking philosophy, psychology, speech, and sociology again because last semester I had an A on it, but whenever it came to my final, the computer froze and I got a damn zero. So I don't know what happened. I'm just retaking the class again. It's whatever not a big deal i'm just learning and growing and that's all that matters so let me tell you my schedule of school work my life my mans and all of that good stuff so monday through friday i go to school on monday wednesday friday i go to school from eight to nine on tuesdays and thursdays i go to school from two to four and i also work so i either work Tuesdays 8 to 1, Wednesdays, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, whatever time they schedule me. And Mondays and Thursdays are my days off because I do take online courses. Um, so every Monday I get a new lesson. Th by Thursday I turn in all my work because it's due on Sunday. So it's just, it's a lot. Like I don't have a day off. I literally, either I go to school and work or I have school or I have work. Like there's no days off in my life at the moment so on mondays wednesdays fridays i take sociology and so far in psychology i'm doing great and i love it for philosophy i go tuesdays and thursdays from two to four and that class is one weird class i think that's my least favorite class at the moment and on top of that my professor talks like this the whole class could be making a lot of noise and he'll talk like this. I know, it's annoying, but he's weird. Yeah, 
funny in like a weird way anyways um so it's the fundamentals of ethics this is my book it was like seven dollars i rent all my books don't ever buy new books unless you need the access code but you can probably find it online and then i'm taking speech online let me tell you the tea about speech um my professor gives us a lot of homework but i have 90s 98 96 94s and so on from 90s and up like i'm killing that class and um, that's my second favorite class, I guess, speech. Um, I like it so far. Even though I have like a eight page paper due in like a day or two, but here I am filming at, ah, just kidding. Um, I'll do it soon. And so, yeah, I take speech online and then I also take sociology online for that. My professor isn't really active. I just take five quizzes at my own time and one final and that's literally it so those are all the classes i'm taking it's not hard balancing school for me and work just because i know how much i can handle i know myself and i know how to pace myself so adrian also goes to school and he works and so usually his days off are on mondays and saturdays so that's why i have mondays off because i try to spend my days with him on Mondays and I'll try to see him whenever I get a chance like I'll snuggle in 30 minutes for him or an hour um and so he's not at Sam Houston anymore he's at U of H so he's here home so I don't have to be driving like an hour and a half just to see my mans because we were doing long distance but my mans is back in town so yeah I just want to let you know to keep pushing and no matter how hard college gets, no matter what you're going through, just keep pushing and never stop and know that every sacrifice has a reward and you know what, at the end of this race, I'm gonna be a billionaire. Nah, not really. I am a strong believer and if it wasn't for God, I don't know how I could be doing all of this. I'd be working long hours, I'd be doing school stuff. like. I do so much like if you have me on Snapchat you'll see like my whole life literally I have a little bit of time to rest and each minute I get free time or whatever I, I'll sleep just because I'm tired I always get myself coffee and that gets me through the day no matter what I just suck it up and keep going because at the end of the day I know I'm going to achieve my goals at the end of the day I know I'm going to be someone I want a different life I have a different mindset and i'm going to achieve whatever i want so i love you guys and i'll see you soon